Four Labs Vitran LDT cleavers are capable of high precision cleaving of glass fibers with diameters ranging from 80 micron to 1250 micron cladding. The cleavers use a tension and scribe technique. The fiber is first placed under a known tension. Then a diamond cleave blade moves gradually forwards in a pecking motion until the blade just strikes the fiber, causing it to cleave. For more information about performing both flat and angled cleaves, please click on the annotations to watch the videos and learn more. During cleaving, only a very small section of the blade comes into contact with the fibre. A single section of the blade can remain sharp, producing good quality cleaves over 5,000 times. However, if the cleave conditions are not optimised for a specific fibre type, for example, the tension is set too low. The fibre may flex rather than cleave when the blade touches it. This will result in lateral stress being applied to the blade and it will become dulled or damaged prematurely. Cleanliness is key for the cleavers to operate at optimal performance. In this video, we will describe some basic cleaver maintenance, including cleaning the fibre holding blocks and the cleave blade. If the cleave performance becomes suboptimal, first ensure that the inserts loaded into the left and right fibre holding blocks are appropriate for the dimensions of the fibre being cleaved. If you have not already watched the video about installing cleaver inserts, click on the annotation to view this first. Now ensure that both the left and right fibre holding blocks and inserts are clean and free from debris. Clean if required. To clean, use a cotton tipped applicator or the nylon brush included with the cleaver, together with a solvent such as acetone or IPA. Brush away from the cleave blade. If the cleave quality is still suboptimal after cleaning the inserts, next inspect the blade. Inspect the blade for cleanliness and any signs of damage using a magnifying eye loop. To inspect the blade visually, it will need to be moved to its service position. Before moving the cleave blade to the service position, ensure there is no fibre debris in the fibre holding block and that the micrometer backstop is fully retracted. Then use the handset controller to select Tools, Blade Service. This will cause the blade to move forwards from its home position to the service position. Use the eye loop to inspect the blade for damage. However, it should be noted that even if the blade edge is dull or damaged, it may not be possible to see this. If there are no obvious signs of damage, clean the blade using a cotton tipped applicator soaked in acetone or IPA. Wipe both sides of the blade, moving the applicator from the back towards the front, never across the blade edge. Only apply light pressure and do not touch the front edge of the blade using hard metal objects. After cleaning, use the handset to return the blade to its home position. Now load a new fibre into the unit and try cleaving once more. The cleaver performance can be verified by observing the cleaved fiber on an interferometer or using a glass processor. If the cleave quality is still suboptimal after following the basic cleaning approach described here, then the blade may need to be repositioned or replaced. Please see the separate video about blade repositioning and replacement to learn more about this. If you have any questions or concerns, please email us either at techsupport at thorlabs.com or vitran.uk at thorlabs.com.